My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Skyrim. This is Hill. I had to pause the game here because I'm being chased by Serana. But this is where we are in our Dawn Guard playthrough. The mission is called Chasing Echoes. Dexian's reading of the Elder Scroll has given rise to more questions than answers. The Moth Priest saw a vision of a weapon called Oriel's Bow. But Serana and I need to locate two more Elder Scrolls in order to unravel the rest of the prophecy. All right, so I'm going to unpause the game and let Serana catch up with me. She's desperate to talk. And here she comes. Yes, Serana. Do you have a moment to talk? I do. Why don't you come up here? Bandit, bandit, please. I think it's getting close to time that he's going to need to be replaced. I hate to say it. Do you have a moment to talk? Yes, yes. He's been a very courageous companion and able to Do you have a vanquish my yes. foes. However, his incessant chattering Do you have a is nerve-wracking. What can I do for you, friend? All right. Yes, Serana, go ahead. Do you have a moment yes, to yes. What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. Yes. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. Yes, he did. I think I know where we can start looking. All right. And why didn't you say anything earlier? Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. I see. So what is it between you two? Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. So, where is this Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Sounds like she was being cautious. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? All right. I only met you a few days ago, and you think that I might know the whereabouts of your mother. Do you think she was sealed away like you were? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Yes, and I would have known that, right? How about right here, in the castle? Wait, that almost makes sense. I used to help my mother tend a garden in the courtyard here. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... 
peaceful. Isn't that pretty risky, staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. And how can we get in without your father noticing? Trust me, I lived here a very long time and I know every nook and cranny. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. All right. Actually, I have some things to do first. Don't let me stand in your way then. Of course. I'll be at the dock whenever you're ready. Good day. All right, bandit. Yes, let's go. I saw Dexian wandering through here. Still enthralled. Look for Dexian another time. All right, Serrano. Yes. Okay. So, I have decided to conclude my business with the Thieves' Guild, at least as much as possible. So, with the skeleton key of Nocturnal safely in my possession, I am bound for the Twilight Sepulchre to return it to its resting place. It is slightly... Perhaps not the best idea to return it, but I have a feeling that Nocturnal can give me gifts to counteract this bad luck that I'm encountering. Especially when it comes to persuasion and intimidation. Those checks I seem to be failing with regularity. All right. Bandit. Let's go. The Twilight Sepulchre. All right, here we are. It's funny how I stumbled on this place in my travels. Never knew that this would be an ultimate destination of mine as part of the Thieves Guild and the Nightingales. All right, Bandit, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to come in here. There's some sort of ward on this door that prevents anyone who's not a Nightingale from entering. At least, that's my theory. Hmm, I was correct. All right, let's go. See what's going on in here. What? A ghost? He seems friendly. Not attacking. No signs of hostility. You. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I'd ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. So much for Nocturnal and her deal. You're all that's left. I mean, that's almost pathetic. 
I was expecting an army. So you're the last. What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. Of course. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. Really? How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Hmm. Mercer Frey, you say? Wait. You're Gallus. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the skeleton key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Dead. Then it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. More than you know. I did this to get rich. Were I able to provide it, I'd shower you in wealth for what you've done. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlia helped me. Carlia? She's still alive? Calm down. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. No, Mercer died by my hand. So then, take the key and right all the wrongs. Let's get this over with. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. What? From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. Aren't you already dead? How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's Path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. All right. So tell me what's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels. With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. Their shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose or their original identities. That could be a problem. Why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebon Mirror was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. And why can't you just take the key? Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect me, too. Of course. As I get closer to the Ebon Mirror, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. And what will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The I only see. possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Perhaps. And how does the Ebonmere affect all of us? 
The Ebonir is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. <laughs> I wish I could say that luck is meaningless, but I'm beginning to experience what it is to live a luckless life. I used to believe that what we do involves purely skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. How's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild, about the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Or a persuasion or intimidation attempt failing. So, with the Ebonmere closed, our luck has run dry. Precisely. There are a few who still call Nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. Very well, then. I thank you for the information. Good luck, Nightingale. And to you, Gallus. All right. I'm looking for someone's journal. Is there something over here? A skeleton. Nistrum's journal. So this must be the corpse of Nistrum. Or at least the skeletal remains. I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches. But I have yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of Nocturnal, I've been assigned a mentor, old dark elf fellow by the name of Lathellus. Maybe if I act the part, I can pry some information from him about the Pilgrim's path. Anders swears to me that all of the temple's wealth is stashed within their intersanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path, so my job is to get us through the obstacles. A lie. Lathellus was easier to coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information on the Pilgrim's Path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing Lathellus seemed clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This what he said about each. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Above all, they stand vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. Offer what she desires most but reject the material for her greatest want is that which cannot be seen felt or carried direct and yet indirect the path 
to salvation a rout of cunning, with fortune betraying the foolish. The journal is complete. The empress embrace waits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like night is the new day and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean, but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual, Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test. Hmm, an ebony war axe of scorn. I'll certainly take that, and it looks like a satchel here as well. That's what everyone needs to carry. A satchel filled with jewels. And what's this? Salt? If I ate, I'm sure I would enjoy it. You know, I've noticed that troll fat. I'm becoming less and less mortal and interested in mortal things. When I first came here to Skyrim, it was to revenge my father or to avenge him for his death at the hands of the Imperials. But now, since becoming a vampire, those mortal concerns really don't concern me. I'm consumed by power and the quest for it. What did we hear? to say their blows are certainly no joke. I could have been killed. see anything else worth taking. I wonder if that was one of the five trials.
darkness. Even with my vampire vision, it's murky in here. What? I'm... I'm burning. Wait. There was a trip wire there. And there's one here. Odd, I was burning as though I was being exposed to sunlight. like it's best to stay in the shadow. I take it this was probably one of the trials. And what have we here? his armor. Might as well. Well. It looks like Nocturnal. Or at least a statue in her image. this? A bandit? Well, someone that can quench my thirst. Soul gem. Take this gold. Just be careful to take the gold and not the plate. There. All right. like a door. And here, a lever. And here as well. sorts of traps in here. Ow. All right. 
right, there's the inner sanctum to the Twilight Sepulchre, and what do we have down here? Why do I feel like I've bit up another? Mm, there's several. I dare. Is there anyone else? These elven arrows. Hmm. There's a coin purse just waiting for me. If I go down there, oh, and a skill book. Okay, yes, there's stairs right here. And what is this? Lock picking. Yes, I can certainly use this knowledge. An elven bow. I'll leave that. Deadly stamina poison. Fear poison. Poison, poison. <laughs> Wait, what? Another skill book? Hmm. I didn't know that about sneaking. I'll certainly employ it. What's this? Frost salts? Virgin to frost. Well, maybe I'll sell it. Okay. Ruby. I think that's everything. still have my skeleton key. I really didn't want to give this up. But part of the problem with using it is that my skill as a lock picker does not improve as I'm actually picking the lock. It's only when I'm successful at picking it do I get skill or do I learn Nern. These tunnels. Oh, I'm back. All right, I need to get to the... Was it the inner sanctum of the sepulchre? Here it is. Hmm, 
surprised that there aren't traps in here. Suppose I'd have to consider this a trap. And who is this? Ah. These appear to be the bones of Anders. And a message. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all of those ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized Nistrum's clues he'd collected from Lathellus, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Hmm. Orcish dagger of reaping. I don't think I need that. Well, just in case. Okay. So. Oh, something's happening. These appear to be doors, but they actually aren't. And what's this? Looks like this is where I need to return the skeleton key. What? My, my. What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments. One tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmir has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. <laughs> what you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represents nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not, you'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, my dear. <laughs> See you in stage this time, won't you? Well, one thing's for sure, she's not omnipotent. She thinks I'm mortal. <laughs> That's the farthest thing from the truth. Well, look who we have here. Finally got up enough courage to show your face, Carlia. to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. <laughs> I suppose. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, 
We wouldn't be having this conversation. And what's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of strife. And why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. <laughs> Only a day? It would be different if you told me I had to wait for a month. So, what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, You'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. Now you're talking. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Hmm, I was beginning to be suspicious of who you really were. All you did is walk around here moping and spending a year perfecting poison. I had totally slipped my mind that you were actually a thief. All right, so tell me about the Agent of Strife. The Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the Agent's own life force, making him stronger. Hmm, that sounds like my vampiric drain. Only I suspect that strife is much more powerful. Tell me about the Agent of Subterfuge. The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this Agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Mm, that sounds interesting. And finally, Tell me about the Agent of Stealth. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this Agent literally becomes invisible. Well, since my own supernatural abilities grant me invisibility, I won't be needing that. I think subterfuge. Use your path, and your journey will be complete. And how do I know what, what? What? No, I chose the wrong one. Alice. I'll have to come back then. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlisle. He's gone. All right, I'm disappointed in this. I thought I could go and inspect each of these and decide which one, so let me see. I'll just have to come back later. 
I think I think it's this one. All right. Carlia. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? Where will you be from now on? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? Certainly not you. And how will I know if I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the Sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. Where did Gallus go? Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. So he's gone. No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a Nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. Hmm. They're part of the darkness around us? Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those Nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's Interesting. They are literally what guides our uncanny luck. I see. By placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. All right, thank you. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows. Yes. Same to you. Now, how do I get out of here? Just walk through one of these. Activate portal. Ah. So I it seems that when I return, I can just go here directly into the chamber to choose my new ability. sun. All right, let's go back to Riften and check on the Thieves' Guild. you in some marksman training not at yeah, the moment thank you something? who is this all right i have Brynjolf. it's good to see you in one piece lot i just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done the guild is back on its feet again and on its way to a prosperous future what's become of the skeleton key <laughs> unfortunately it's been returned to the sepulcher that's it, then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. So, where will you be now? I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex. To make sure the coin keeps flowing, and no one skims. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the guild. May it last another thousand years. Hmm, very well. I see he's fully embraced his role as a... Was that nocturnal statue always here? <laughs> it could have been, and I never paid attention to it. 
<laughs> okay. Just need one good haul. Well, I think it's time to do some thievery. Bandit, come on, let's go.